What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with a kind of review that I actually haven't done in quite some time, and that's actually going to be an Android update review. So for this review, it's going to be the Android 13 update for the OnePlus 10 Pro. The update started rolling out around September 20th of 2022, or at least that's when I started seeing all the notifications that the update is available. I myself got it on September 21st in the morning, so actually a quick, pretty quick turnaround. Um, the post did say that they were going to roll it out to beta testers and select users early, so I'm not quite sure how I got on that list, but I was happy that I was on that list and got it pretty early. Um, this, of course, is on the unlocked global American version of the phone, so if you are on a carrier branded phone, I anticipate it being released um, about two to four months after the global release of the unlocked version. That's at least the general time frame I've seen for OnePlus devices on the carrier branded versions and most notably on the OnePlus 9 Pro. Um, granted, that one comes with a bit of a caveat because it did have a bit of a um, issue with the Android 12 update where I guess it was causing a lot more issues than it was worth. So getting a stable version released added of, I want to say about a month or so. But that's neither here nor there. So once you get the update, um, here I'm going to talk, go through a few of the notable changes that I've seen and a, a couple of issues that I have noticed and kind of quirks, I guess, not necessarily issues, but just personal quirks that I've seen so far. So right off the bat, if you are using the OnePlus launcher, then you'll kind of have, or you'll kind of feel right at home. Most of the options, animations, and general things are pretty straightforward and um, right off the bat, um, pretty much the same as um, Oxygen OS 12 or Android 12 from the uh, OnePlus 10 Pro, 9 Pro, um, basically anything running Oxygen OS 12 should look pretty much the same in Android 13. Um, from here, that's pretty much the extent of the similarities because once you get into things like the notification drawer, you'll see a little bit of a difference in uh, visual elements. So rather than just having the um, traditional square, round, whatever uh, shape of icons you have at the top, you get a more rectangular feel. Um, basically, it's a merging of what Oxygen OS has uh, with what you see in the Pixel 6 Pro. So the Pixel 6 line has a more rectangular oblong shape to the um, notification toggles, whereas with the Oxygen OS version, you get these rectangles, uh, you get a de dedicated media player control at the top right. Swiping down expands on whatever your top toggles are. You can swipe over to get more. So um, in general, you do have um, a refresh UI and layout, which I have, I am finding so far to be pretty nice and nifty just because of the design update that they've introduced with um, Android 13 on the OnePlus 10 Pro, which I will get to in a little bit. Um, from here, that's really, the, or from here, the other notable thing, as I mentioned, is the media player. So you can control rewind, fast forward, play. Touching it will expand the media player to a slightly bigger widget. So um, you can, for example, in this case, I'm using Pocket Cast. So if you touch the icon again, it'll open the app. And then it'll, you get a nice little animation too if you have an icon on your app drawer. So, um, you can play around with things like that. You can close it if you're if you want to go back to your notification drawer. So, um, pretty nifty little thing there. Um, from here, the other thing you will notice is if you do go into your notification or into your settings menu, you get a notif or a settings panel that looks very much like Android 11 or Oxygen OS 11 and prior where it is using um, the bulk of the screen it looks more like a traditional android settings menu so rather than that over the oversized visual elements that we saw in oxygen os 12 you get the more traditional look and feel um, everything is nicely categorized it's um, easy to get through and find things because it is nicely categorized so um, if you have not um, used Android in some time, or if you are, or if you have used Android for a long time, then you will be very much at home. Um, in that, it, the settings menu does look or does have everything 
that you expect from um, your settings and various uh, locations of all your settings. Um, the one quirk that I am going to get to before I get into the major um, change in, in Oxygen OS 13 is when you are um, adjust, if you do have your automatic brightness turned on or off, um, the quirk that I've seen so far is that you are unable to, um, or at least I'm unable to toggle automatic brightness from my notification menu. Um, you can still um, adjust it but it doesn't turn it on or off automatically and it once you do that a manual adjustment it doesn't um, automatically adjust from then on out so I don't know if that's a result of the upgrade from Android 12 to 13 or if that is an element that is on purpose so I am giving them some time and I'm gonna probably wait for at least one more update to see if that's a bug in the system or just an update issue um, if it is supposed to be a to available toggle, then I may just do a factory reset to see if that fixes it. Um, so for now, you, know, you will have to go into settings, display and brightness, and if you toggle your auto brightness off and on, then it'll resume. Or if you just if you leave your auto brightness off, then it's not really an issue. But it's more of an issue really if you have automatic brightness on, and then you do need to adjust it. Like let's say you're in a dark area and you want it to be brighter, or um, you think that it's too bright or too light based on your current conditions and you need to make that adjustment. So um, that's kind of a quirk I've seen. Um, the other quirk that I have seen is with the VPN. Um, I don't know if it's a widespread issue or if it's just um, as certain apps are not quite updated to Android 13, but um, randomly the VPN will shut off and not tr turn back on again or it'll keep disconnecting and reconnecting. Um, internet access will be oddly slow for some reason, you know, whether it's Wi-Fi or on mobile data. So I'm still kind of getting used to that, but turning the VPN off makes everything work fine. So I'm not quite sure what the issue is there. So um, we'll see if an update fixes that. And like I said, if a future update fixes that issue, then it's all good. Don't need to do a factory reset, but if it's still a persistent issue and they say that it should work, then it might just I might just have to go in and do a factory reset to see if that resolves it. So with that being said, um, the highlight of the Android 13 update for the OnePlus 10 Pro is the anamorphic theming option. So as you can see in my wallpaper right now, there's a lot of greens, a little bit of orange, but the primary color is green. So if you when I swipe down on my notification drawer, you see the grays and um, olive green kind of and then if you go back to the um, home screen there's a little bit of gray in the clouds and then green in the um, trees so the anamorphic design in what the one the one plus 10 pro transition translates the um, color theming options that you see on the pixel 6 but into the OnePlus 10 ecosystem by into like basically into Oxygen OS. So in order to um, enable that on your device, you're gonna go into your settings menu, you're gonna go into wallpapers and style, and then you're gonna go into colors. Um, so for me, before the update, I did have the color option set to, I think basically what's now called custom. I think I had it set to like this blue or one of these blues or something like that. So you will have to enable it manually, but once you do, it should automatically stay on. Um, there is another quirk that if you switch between a static image and a live wallpaper that it doesn't switch back and forth just because live wallpapers are not supported in this theming option as of yet. So if you find that you do that and the theming option is not quite working, you may need to re-enable the wallpaper color picking. Um, there are some preset um, presets already, so if you want specific a specific color set, you can do that as well, but I think those are just static colors that don't change with your image. So um, basically what you're gonna wanna do to enable your automatic color theming is pick wallpaper color picking. You'll get a nice little animation where um, the OnePlus color theming option will pick four different colors to theme. You'll hit OK and then you'll get a little uh, toaster notification telling you that colors will change every time you change your wallpaper and you can see that from my current selection it did pick this orange color so um you will need to you will notice that it will pick some colors for you but the beauty of this theming option is let's say you don't like the colors it picked or 
in my case, like it picked colors that, um, like it picked a yellow that really hid the icons and the text that you see up here. Like, so it picked this really bright yellow or really hot pink one time. So it's hard to see the icons that you're actually wanting to look at. So what you can do is you can actually move these dots around. So if you, if you want the um, darker gray, you want to merge this orange, this green, and this blue, you can actually do that to manually have a color selection option. So that way um, you can have a more manual color process. So you'll see that it picked this orange. Now let's say you want to change your um, image to something else. Um, so in this case, I'm gonna pick an image from one of the OnePlus images that's a different color or noticeably different colors. So I long press on my home screen, I picked wallpapers, and then I'm gonna go down and pick one of these static images. Um, so I'm gonna pick this one with blue, pink, and purple in it. You'll do apply and you, I'm gonna do home and lock screens. And so give it a little bit of time, it'll set the wallpapers and, I, and at the same time it's also going in and adjusting the colors. So that way you don't have to do anything from here. So we're gonna exit out of that. The wallpapers change to this blue, purple, pink combination. So when we uh, swipe down, you see that it picked um, this pink color option. And if you go into your settings menu, you have that same pink outline. So um, that's basically all you have to do for this uh, color theming system. It's really easy to use. So far, I have, like I said, I haven't had any, any issues with static wallpapers, but switching back and forth between static and live wallpapers will create a uh, hiccup in that system because live wallpapers are not yet supported. So that's kind of the caveat on, caveat on the system. You do need to pick a uh, static image. So um, there is that, but it is pretty nifty. It's definitely worth checking out. Um, th there's a couple of other updates as well in the um, Android 13 update, like a quantum AI engine updates and things like that. So a more natural and intuitive animations, a better battery performance, a better work mode performance, a gaming mode enhancements for frame rates and battery life and things like that. So overall, I have noticed that battery life is pretty good. Um, I'm getting a better... Um, I'm testing it out on a daily usage. So I actually last charged my phone today as of this recording. Um, as of about 7.45 in the morning, it's 12.30 or almost 12.30 now as of this recording. And I've lost about 9%. So that is, so basically about um, five hours and that's 9%. So essentially I'm getting nearly all day or based on the current usage, I'm getting nearly all day battery usage. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can look at, um, power saving mode or if it goes into the battery saving so um can it says i can last about one day 17 hours you can see battery usage by app um screen on since last charge about half an hour used about four and a half hours since the last charge so pretty good battery usage so far i am still playing around with it to get used to um the battery performance issues but overall so far so good um i have noticed some people have various random issues but I don't know if it's a bad installation update, um, something got interrupted on the way, but from my point of view, using it for the past uh, about four days now, um, I can say that there haven't been any major holdbacks for the using the device. Like I said, the biggest issue that I've had is the, va the random VPN and internet connection issues, but basically disabling, dis uh, disabling the VPN for a little bit fixes it to get performance going and then turning it back on. Um, and for me, the biggest issue is the brightest brightness toggle. I do prefer to have the automatic brightness um, toggle in my notification drawer. So I am going to wait and see if um, that is uh, something that they introduce or if that's a gl random glitch or what happens with that. But overall, I can say that it's overall, it's a very good issue. I do like that they reverted the settings menu back to how it was before. Um, I do, I ha did read a couple of people say they didn't like the new notification drawer, but um, everyone has their opinions. For me, I actually like the way it looks and I'm happy with this update Update because it does you utilize more of the screen and takes us back to a more traditional looking Android UI. And of course, having the anamorphic theming system 
is welcome because it brings the device on par with the um, Pixel line, but keeps the device a very much OnePlus look and feel. Um, beyond that though, that's really about it for the device. Um, there are a few other changes, so in updates so you get a few more um, fingerprint animation options, so um, that is pretty um, nice there. Um, edge lighting, I think they didn't really do too much there. That's pretty much the same options. Um, I think the always on display, there are a few more options. Um, you can do Bitmoji, Canvas, custom patterns, text, text and an image, this Omoji, which I still have to look into. I'm not quite sure what those are. Um, I know what emojis and bitmojis are. Omojis are new to me. Um, there are, a, there is a new system provided a uh, lock screen option called home where you can pick these nature inspired um, animations to it's basically there to bring awareness to the effects of global warming so um, in this case uh, so you can do things like um, polar bear penguins or this coral reef so um, I'll kind of keep the theme matching with the coral reef I like that animation so um, that is a couple of nifty um, things there. Um, I think there's a couple of um, improvements as far as color options. So you can actually do this thing called um, eye comfort where you can train your device um, to your what colors you see with your own eyes. So it enhances the colors accordingly. So um, I do want to try that out as well. That does look pretty interesting because everybody's visuals are different. But for now, I've kept it to the default. Um, you can also do na a natural tone display where um, the display adjusts the um, tones of the device to your ambient uh, lighting. Um, you can adjust display size, font, things like that. So there's a lot of little things in there as well that are, you know, nothing like mind bending or world changing or anything like that but they have um, embraced more of the color options that are introduced with this anamorphic theming engine so that the colors on your device are truly matched to what you want to see on your device to begin with. So a lot of visual elements and um, basically visual updates to the um, Oxygen OS system via Android 13. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or anything like that, you can comment on this post on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. Or you can comment on this video on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. Um, I'll also have the audio version out for people. So if you want to listen in your podcast client of choice, that will be up on the YouTube channel or on the uh, podcast feeds. You can check all that out at headphonesneal.reviews. And of course, regardless of which one you pick, there will be a post up on Twitter at PatelN01 where you can comment on your feedback, questions, comments. Uh, did I miss something? Did you want me to go over something again or take another look at something? Um, so that's all I, on Twitter at PatelN01. And um, that's all there is for this particular review. But overall, I give the Android 13 update for the OnePlus 10 Pro a thumbs up. Um, overall grade will remain to be seen, but I will say that I definitely like um, Oxygen OS 13 or Android 13 for the OnePlus line better than the Android 12 update. I never really had a major issue uh, with performance or usage. Um, the main thing I did not like was the oversized visual elements, which reminded me too much like Samsung. So um, this takes us back to a more traditional Android UI and um, carries over what we see in a stock pixel line but done in the Oxygen OS OnePlus way um, that we've known and gotten used to. Um, and also the one thing before I forget as well is that there are changes to the Do Not Disturb menu where it does not necessarily block notifications anymore. So um, if you scroll down in your notification drawer Normal or in Android 12 at least or up to Android 12 you, when you turn on do not disturb you could block notifications so um, it would hide things like um, no, this notification from Google Assistant or um, before there were some notifications for some uh, sports that that I follow I think there's an Angels game or something like that and Raiders or whatever like that and it would not in up until Android 12 it would hide those notifications so um, something changed in Android 13 where for the OnePlus series where 
that doesn't happen anymore so I will give the heads up that if you are sharing your screen and your internet connection is on and you have turned on do not disturb thinking your notifications will be blocked at the moment it does not look like they are being blocked so I'm not quite sure where that is or if the settings have moved to somewhere else poking around initially at least I have not seen where that um, block comes into place as of right now do not disturb will block pop-up notifications but they're not going to hide notifications in your app drawer or in your notification drawer so if some if you are sharing your screen and swiping down on your notification drawer people will be able to see those notifications or if you give someone access or control to your device remotely like using um, team viewer or I, i'm assuming zoom and teams allow you to do the same thing but if someone else has control over your notifications they can swipe down and look at your notifications so just a heads up there that um something's changed in android 13 for the oneplus 10 pro i'm not sure quite sure yet where the that toggle is to block the, or hide the notifications so i would recommend for the time being um, if there are if you are going to be sharing um, your screen then don't swipe down on your notification drawer um, or I guess turn off in I guess if you're sharing your screen or get remotely or live streaming something then you need an internet connection so at least turn on do not disturb so pop-up notifications don't happen but don't swipe down on your notification drawer for everybody to see your notifications especially if there is sensitive information that you don't want people to see so uh, just a quick side note there that is I'm not necessarily chalking that up to a quirk um, something changed I'm not quite sure what so it may be a quirk or it might be a um, update issue I don't know yet myself but um, that is different from um, up, from Android up to Android 12 so um, it might just be a way of getting used to um, not doing that anymore, I guess, or using Do Not Disturb to block pop-up notifications, I guess. So if you are gaming, make sure you still turn on Do Not Disturb. Um, but know that if you are live streaming your home screen like I am, that if you swipe on down on your notification door, people will be able to see um your notifications so that's all there is for this particular review so like i said website is headphonesneal.reviews this video will be up on uh, the podcast feeds there or on youtube at you or and on youtube at youtube.com slash patel and zero one but that is all for this particular review thanks for tuning in and until next time